Hi, my name is Cordo Radke and welcome to CSR Digital Media. Today we're going to talk about how to connect your name for your domain name from Namecheap and I'm going to explain to you guys how we're going to connect your Namecheap domain uh, registration to your Squarespace website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a profile with Namecheap. Once you create a profile, they're going to ask you to uh, search for a domain that you want to use. Um, assuming that you already have a domain that you want to use, you're going to put it in and it's going to show you all your domain names listed on your dashboard. And the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the manage button. You're going to go to advanced DNS settings. And you're going to notice a C name record here with the value that says parkingpage.namecheap.com. And so now that you are on this page, let's go ahead and head over onto the Squarespace website. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings, domains, and you're going to use a domain that I already own. In this case, I'm going to use CSR Digital Media dot online. And as you can see, it says it's registered with Namecheap. On my last video, I taught you guys how to actually transfer your domain over to Squarespace. But today, since we're using Namecheap, we're going to actually connect the domain so that you're going to keep your domains and names cheap but you're just going to connect the name uh, for your Squarespace website. So it's going to ask you to select provider. Um, some people will use GoDaddy, uh, like DreamHost, Bluehost, but as you can see, I'm using Namecheap because I believe they have the best prices right now as of 2022. So we're going to connect the domain. And as you can see, it says connection in progress. It says CSR Digital Media Online is connecting to your site. So we're going to hit continue. And now this is where it gets a little bit confusing. You're going to see a page here. And these are your DNS settings. And you're going to see a hosting here and require data here. Now, if you notice back in Namecheap, you, you see a value called parkingpage.namecheap.com. Now we want to get rid of that and we want to replace it with the CNAME record. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this hosting. And go ahead and edit this one. So go ahead and paste the host. And we're going to change the value, and the value is the required data here, verifysquarespace.com. Go ahead and copy and paste. And then go ahead and click the Save Changes here. Now you're going to want to add a new record. Go ahead and click CNAME again. And this time you're going to copy and paste the, the www here as the host. And the target value is going to be this right here. So you're going to copy. Paste that in and go ahead and click Save Changes. Now we're almost done now. We're going to have to add a new record. As you can see, uh, the host is at and the type is A. And you're going to have to use the required um, data here for each step. So we'll start with the first one. It's going to be an A record. And we're going to do the at symbol and the IP address here. I'm going to copy and paste. Go ahead and save changes. 
add a new record, another A record, at Copy and paste this one in, save changes, and repeat the steps for the next two. Once you have finished adding all your IP records, go ahead and go back into your domain overview on Squarespace. And once you have followed all the steps, the connection should be in progress and it could take anywhere from uh, 12 to 72 hours to finish registering your domain. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.